Hello everyone, welcome to Lead Code Programming. The problem that I am going to discuss today is determine if two strings are close. So two strings will be considered close if you can obtain one string from the other one by using following operations. So we can do two operations on any of the strings and see if we can obtain one string from the other. So the first operation that we can do is we can swap any two existing characters. So let's say we have the two strings A, B, C, D, E and A, E, C, D, B. So if you see the two, the two strings are, uh, are almost same except that two characters, two characters are interchanged. So if you see B and E, if you interchange B and E, you get the second string A, E, C, D, B. So that is the first operation you can do. So you can swap any two existing characters. So the second operation that, are, that we are allowed to do is uh, we can transform every occurrence of one existing character into another existing character. And we, have, we need to do the same thing with the other character. So let's say we have uh, two strings A, A, C, A, B, B. And the second string is B, B, C, B, A, A. So if you see uh, the first two characters in the first string are A, A. Whereas in the second string they are B, B. So if we can change A to B and B to A, probably we will be able to get the uh, second string. So let's see if the first two A's are connected to B, B. Then and the last two B, B, B are converted to A, A, then we get the same string. So A, A, C, A, B, B will become B, B, C, B, A, A. So this way, uh, if you if you are uh, transforming one character into another character, you need to transform the other character to the uh, previous character. So vice versa, you need to do. So uh, as you can see, we need to do operations on the existing characters. So let's say uh, you cannot transform A to some D because D is not present in this uh, string. So we need to transform the uh, character to one of the existing characters. So those are the two uh, operations we can do. And we can do these operations on any of these two strings as many times as we want. So there is no limit on the number of operations that we can do. So finally, uh, given two strings, we need to check if they are close or not. If they are close by using the above operations, we need to return true, else we need to return false. So let's check examples. So example 1, A, B, C, we have a string. So the second string is B, C, A. So if we can, if you see, we can uh, just change the positions of characters characters using the operation 1. So that means we can swap characters. So if you swap A, B, then it will become B, A, C. Then you swap A, C, then it becomes C, A. So B, C, A. So output is true. In the second example, we have uh, first string as A, second string as A, A. Whatever, no matter whatever we do, how many number of operations we do, we can never obtain the second string from the first string or vice versa. Because then the number of characters here are different. So the output is here is false. The third example, we have C, A, B, 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 A. And the second string is A, B, B, C, C, C. So here, uh, as you can see, we can uh, do these operations. So operation 1, then operation 2, then operation 2. After that, we can obtain the second string. So in example 4 again, uh, we have C A B B B A and the second string is A A B B S S. Here if you see, there are uh, different characters in the second string. So these character, the character S is not present in the first string. So we can never obtain the uh, uh, second string from the first string or vice versa. So output here is false. So when it comes to constraints, uh, the string lengths can be, uh, the word lengths can be uh, from 1 till 10 power 5 and word, word 1 and word 2 contain only in lowercase English letters. So as you can see the max string length can be till 10 power 5. So uh, ideally we should uh, come up with a better approach else uh, an optimized approach else it, will, it is going to time out. So let's see uh, uh, what we can do. Let's take an example. Let's say we have the string A, B, B, C, C, C and the second string is C, A, A, B, B, B. So if you uh, see uh, closely to determine if the two strings are close or not, definitely the two strings should have same, uh, same characters. So the frequency may be different but the characters should be same. So if the first if the first string has uh, the first string has characters a b c 
so that second string should definitely have the same characters so here also we have c a b so order doesn't order does not matter because we can use operation one and we can change the order and the second thing is the frequency of the characters so here we have number of characters of a as one number of b's two number of character c three so here if you see the frequencies are number of c's are one number of uh, a we have two number of uh, b we have three so uh, even though uh, the frequency of uh, respective characters are different but we have overall we have uh, same frequency so here we have one character one uh, character number of characters of uh, one a as one number of b is two number of c three so the frequency here is one two three so here also if you see the frequency is one two three so even though the frequency of a particular character if you say the frequency of a is uh, one here whereas here it is two so it is different but the overall frequency if you see here the first string is uh, one two three the second string we have one two three so the overall frequency should match in that case you can use the second operation where you can transform one character to second char one character to different character so here we have uh, frequency of a as one so here we have frequency of c as one so if you transform a to c you will get a similar frequency so that way you can use second operation and we can obtain the cm string so uh, these two things if you consider uh, this problem should be easily solvable so instead of uh, instead of doing operations if you start uh, if you, if you take string 1 and if you do uh, operations as mentioned here if you keep doing operations we may end up uh, getting the solution but uh, definitely uh, the number of operations will be more and we may end up with a timeout so the best way to solve this problem is using these two conditions like you need to make sure that both the strings have same similar characters and the frequencies are the second condition is the we should make sure that the frequencies are matching so let's uh, let's implement this uh, points and check if it works or not so first we will take uh, we will we are going to discuss both c++ and java solutions uh, first let, let's begin with c++ so let's take uh, to uh, according to the constraints anyway the strings are going to contain only lower alphabets so the number of alphabets is 26 so the max unique strings that you can max unique characters that you can get that you are going to get is 26 so we can take a vector of 26 and just initialize a frequency with 0 we are going to count the frequency of all the characters same way string 2 So now let's count the characters in word 1. So this will point to 0th index character minus a or the respect to index if c is equal to a so a minus a is 0 so it will be it will be like uh, alphabets a to z will be uh, arranged in 0 to 25 index. So we will count the frequency. Same way, we will count the frequency of characters in second string. So word two. Okay. Now the first condition. So what is the first condition? The first condition is that we should have same characters in both the strings. So let's say if you have a character uh, Z in the first string, we should have the same character in the second string. So how can we check that? So if so we have a character C in string 2. So the same character should be present in the string 1. If it is if it is 0, that means the character is not present in the string 1. That means we can return false. 
we can never obtain the second string from the first string. Else, the first condition is satisfied. That means we have a same number of characters, same characters in the first and same type of characters in the first and second string. Now we need to check the frequency. The frequency should match. So how we are going to check that? So we can have the frequencies in random order. So in the first string we can have a character A one time and the character B two times and character C three times. But in the second string the frequencies can be different. The character A can come three times, character B can come one time, and character C can come two times. So what we need to do is we need to sort the frequencies and then compare if they are matching. So what we can do is sort the frequencies. Same as all the frequencies of the second string. So as we discussed in the example, they both should match exactly. So we can directly do because vector class supports uh, comparing with equal equals sign, or we can do a for loop and even uh, do that like. If str one of i not equal to str two of i, that means frequencies are not matching because we have sorted. They will be in the uh, correct order. So if they are not matching, they will return false. So this I am just commenting. So we can directly use the vector operation. So these two are equal, exactly equal. So let's just check if it works or not. Submit and see. Yeah, the solution has been accepted. So let's look at uh, Java solution. So it should be straightforward. It should be same as C plus plus. Let's change it to Java here. Now let's take an array of uh, 26 again. Two arrays. Now count the frequency of characters. So in Java we cannot directly use uh, similar to C. So we need to convert it to two character arrays. The character arrays can be enumerated. Then str1 now, same as C, C++, count the frequency. Now in the second word, word 2, we we'll count the frequency of characters. And we need to check if the uh, characters are matching or not. So if str1 now, If there is no character, then return false. If the characters are not matching, yes, we will return false. The first condition is taken care. So in the second, for the second condition, we need to sort the frequencies. So arrays dot sort we can use. Pass the first array. Same way, arrays dot sort. So this will sort the two arrays. So we get the frequencies in the order. So now we can just check the if they are same or not. So they should match. If they are not matching, we just return false. Finally, if we come out, that means all the frequencies are matching, so we just return true. So let's execute and check. 
it works fine so let's submit and check yeah so the solution has been accepted so it is faster than 100% of online submissions so if you see the time complexity in both the cases we are just processing the given strings only once so if the string length is let's say n so ideally that time complexity should be in the order of n but because we are using sort functions the worst case uh, the average or worst case time complexity here will be in the order of o of n log n so the overall time complexity will be in the order of o, um, order of n log n so not not n and when it comes to space complexity it is almost constant because we are just using a arrays of size 26 so it is a negligible so that's it for today thanks for watching please do subscribe and provide your feedback thank you